Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ruby's Nokogiri gem to pass HTML document. So there are many ways with which you can pass HTML document using Ruby, but this Nokogiri gem allows you to multiple ways to access your HTML file. So what we're going to do is we are going to see those two methods to access or you can say read those files then how you choose to pass them how you choose to read the notes within that document is up to you so you will see two methods to read and pass the content okay so open text editor save one file with name demo.rb now type in require then type in open dash uri then type in require no query. okay if you don't have no query installed you can open command prompt type in gem install no query, and you will be able to execute the code explained in this video now let's create one variable named doc then call for no query class when you call for HTML method to call for open method which is from open URI method and here you choose example.com as your URL you can choose any other if you want now you have opened this HTML document so the any read content or pass content will be stored in that doc variable now you can choose to print this out on your console or you can go through a process of creating a loop read through particular nodes and print those nodes on your command prompt in my case i'm going to just print entire html content on console so let's try that go to the drive type in ruby demo.rb and as you can see it has shown me entire html document on command prompt okay now what we're going to do is another method of reading html file so what we have seen so far is usage of nokogiri and open uri this is to fetch content from internet what if your HTML file is on hard disk or any connected media? So in such case, we don't need open URI. And also we will have our document to parse or read HTML file in a different way. So just call for required no query. Now, in this case, let's start with doc then file.open here we mention sample.html which is the file stored in same location to that of demo.rb in your case it could be in different location you have to specify that path then within curly brackets let's create file instance call for no query html and then put your file in that path okay so it will read your file and pass that content store that in doc you can choose to output this content or you can use for loop to, to go to the content of that file and print out only the selective if you want okay so let's check that out Okay, now we can run the example and here you see the content from that HTML is printed on console okay so we have checked two methods to read and pass through your HTML document using Ruby's Nokogiri gem 